G'day Internet, welcome back to another video and to the Canberra Vintage Computer Expo. On the 22nd of April this year, myself and some mates decided to put on a show because at the end of the day, there's no point in all these computers sitting in our private collections and not letting anyone else see or play with them. Thanks to Andy, we were able to get the use of a hall at a local school, uh, which also gave us access to the, all the tables that we needed and we nearly had enough of them. We also had friends coming as far away as Sydney and Melbourne and bringing their machines along to show off as well. We did our best to have computers kind of grouped together, so we had a Commodore section and an Apple section and things like that. So let's take a look at what was on display. Starting on the British table where there was quite the selection of both Sinclair and Amstrad machines, most of which were bought up from Melbourne by David. In the end, I don't think there was too many Sinclair machines that we missed. My ZX Omni was there uh, and I also bought along both my BBC Micro and my Elk. We also had a healthy range of Atari machines there, including both 8 and 16 bit. Uh, and Andy even bought along his Falcon 030. Tandy was well represented, uh, with Ian coming all the way from Melbourne uh, and even setting up an old dot matrix printer uh, to allow people to print out old school banners. PCs weren't to be forgotten, and although the Osborne isn't a PC, it kind of went nicely next to the IBM 5160 uh, and also a couple of machines representing the boring beige box era. Jeremy was there with just a small selection of his massive Macintosh collection uh, and even bought along a Laserdisc player for something quite unique. Needless to say, there was a plethora of Commodore machines on display from the VIC-20 and a Plus 4, uh, a Commodore 64 including the Australian case version, a C128, and a healthy selection of Amiga machines, and of course, the mighty Commodore PET. One thing we really wanted to highlight at this show was Australian made machines, and we made sure that they were front and center on the first lot of tables that you see when you walk in the door. Although I had my Micro B there, uh, the vast majority were bought from Melbourne and Sydney by Alan and Riley, so thank you very much for making the trip. Uh, and it really shows the whole breadth of the computers that were manufactured here in Australia. Alan brought along his quite rare Amust Executive 816, which is a CPM-based luggable. Riley had on display his prototype ETI 660 and a military spec Dalmont Magnum, and Keith brought along his Dick Smith Super 80. Alan also had his Dick Smith System 80 there, which, yes, is not technically an Australian computer, but it is one that we, eh, we kind of claim as our own. Back on the British table, Carl had his telecom computer phone on display. Why on the British table? Well, underneath, it's based on the Sinclair QL. Of course, Micro B fans were well catered for with Alan bringing along both a TC256, uh, I had my Prem Plus there, and Alan had his original kit version complete with its matching case. The guys from the ACMS came down from Sydney with a nice collection of things, including a PDP-1105 and a Heathkit H11 with its matching paper tape reader. One great demonstration set up by Kerry is his paper tape puncher, where anyone could walk up, punch in some plain text, and it would print it out on the paper tape. And speaking of demonstrations throughout the entire day, Nathan had been 
showing off his repairs and soldering skills, proving once again he's better at it than I am. In the end, it was a big day, but a good day. We actually don't know how many people ended up coming through the door. We're thinking kind of, you know, three to 400 people across the five hours we were open. A huge thank you to everyone who came along, uh, but for also for everyone who brought machines along to uh, fill out the display. Uh, I had about 20 machines there myself, and like I said, there was guys who came all the way from Melbourne and Sydney to have machines on display. And although a lot of us are still kind of catching our breath uh, from running the show, uh, we've already got some ideas kicking around, we'll definitely be doing it again. So if you're in Canberra or don't mind making the trek, keep an eye on the Facebook page. I'll put a link down below. Uh, and you can see when the next one happens. But the whole day was just full of people telling stories or playing games they hadn't for since they were, you know, since they were a kid. Uh, and that's one of the my most favourite things about doing this is actually just just sitting back and watching, you know, both adults and kids get involved and have a play around with some of these really old computers and the feedback we've been given is that's one of the highlights was people were actually able to get hands-on uh, with these old computers uh, and honestly just have a play So I hope you enjoyed this short little video of the show that we put on here in Canberra. A big thank you to local filmmaker John Riddell for allowing me to borrow some of his footage. Um, you can probably tell which bits are his and which bits are mine. Uh, but if you like the video, click like, subscribe, all the usual youtube -y stuff. As always, a massive shout out to my Patreons who are scrolling up the screen as I speak. And if you'd like to help support the channel, there is a link in the description. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.